working, Nasha. Nash, Nash! Dennis! Hi, Dad. Just making sure the go-kart's in fully working order. We're entering the Beano Town 5000, the race where anything goes. Oh, right. Well, uh, speaking of things that should go, uh, get that go-kart out of the garden. Ah. You heard the man, Nasha? No, 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 no! Don't crash through the fence again! Don't crash through it? OK, Dad. Nasha? Nasha, Nasha, Nasha! Yeah, it's the best go-kart I've ever seen. Actually, it's the only go-kart I've ever seen. Team Menace is definitely going to win the Beano Town 5000. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, I doubt that very much. Oh, yeah? This Menace machine's going to fly to the finishing line. Delusional rubbish, Dennis. Feast your eyes on... Voltron, the automatic... Hydromatic go-kart. Complete with 100 terabytes of artificial intelligence and a carbon nitride chassis. <laughs> it looks like a big egg. Oh, really? Waltron, place me into the driver's seat. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Waltron obeys every command I give. Waltron, zoom around the park. That thing drives itself. You're cheating. Oh, Dennis. I don't cheat. I innovate. See you at the race. Oh, oh, except I won't, will I? <laughs> because you'll be so far behind, I won't be able to. Waltron, go fast, please. The Beano Town 5000 should be about driving skills. Not about sitting in a giant egg your dad got you. Nash, Nash! How are we going to compete with the egghead? Hmm, don't worry. Walter's giant egg isn't going to win because we are going to turn our go-kart into the ultimate menace mobile. We're going to win by menacing. Well, Pie Face, anything goes in the Beano Town 5000, so Team Menace has to be ready for anything. Nash! <laughs> Question. When does the Beano Town 5000 start? Oh, noon on Saturday. And what day is it today? Uh, Saturday. And the time is? Oh, it's uh, 11.45. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Beano Town 5000. The go kart race where absolutely anything goes. <laughs> the racers will ride their engineless go karts down from the top of Mount Beano. The off road track goes around the mountain through Beano Moor before finally reaching here, where the winner will get this. Ooh. The Beano Town 5000 Gold Medal. Made of 100% real fake gold. Ooh, shiny. This is it, Butch. Ha! Ready, man? Hit, hut! On your marks. Get set now. Go! <laughs> Anything goes in the Beano Town 5000, Dennis. That shiny metal is mine, baby. Mine. <laughs> I'm running. <laughs> <Fire>. <laughs> you think that's going to stop me? No. 
Well, there you are. What do you mean, thing? <laughs> 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 Dennis, the Beano Code 5000 should be about skill, courage, honor, and in my case, a giant mushy pea cannon. <laughs> oh, come on! That meter is mine! Fire! Fire again! Initiate counterattack! Ha! Oh no! There appears to be an equipment malfunction! Oh. Oh. Cold, mushy peas! <laughs> Still, best rations ever! What? Yes! We're winning, Nasha! Nastas! Nastas! Deploy the clamps! <laughs> Genius, Waltron! Now, if you'll excuse me, Dennis, I have a medal to collect. I think you'll find Dennis first! <laughs> oh, Waltron! After her! <laughs> Do you honestly believe that you can defeat the mighty Waltron? Well, since you ask, yes! Because I have. <laughs> Attack squirrels? <laughs> really? What are they Attack gonna... Attack squirrels! Attack! Ah! Ah! Time to become the next Kino Town 5000 champion! <laughs> right, if I lubricate the sides with oil, lever this bit with a screwdriver and unscrew these bolts, perhaps I could pull it off in about... Four hours. Oh. <laughs> oh, we could just do that. Well done, Nasha. <laughs> Nasha. <laughs> Let's win this race. Hmm. Finally lost those rubbish bus just rodents. Maximum speed, Waltron. To the finishing line. <laughs> Quickly! Skill, Angel Face! Skill! <laughs> That's how this race is going to be won! Really? I think it's going to be won with a little help from my fairy friends! Uh-oh! Uh -oh. Attack squirrels! Quick, Nasha! The peanut shooter! <laughs> I 
suppose you think this is funny. Oh, don't be mad, Walter. Your little plant people look much better now. Their haircuts were boring. You're just jealous because the crest you've grown doesn't look anywhere near this good. What? Why would we be growing cress? Well, what did you do with those seeds Creature gave you last week? <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely day. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, as this cress growing assignment is homework, due tomorrow, you menaces can all expect attention. Nah, we eat detention like he eats pies. Sometimes I eat pies in detention. Oh. So, detention this weekend won't bother you, then? <laughs> the weekend of the Beano Town Comic Convention? With a once-in-a-lifetime appearance by the creators of Vampire Chicken Squad? Bye-bye. <laughs> Dennis, what are we gonna do? Vampire Chicken Squad is my favourite comic! I mean, chickens! Who are vampires! They have a squad! I mean, it's the best idea ever! Paul was gonna get all his issues autographed. We can't miss this convention! We have to talk to someone who knows about growing plants! And fast! Who's daddy's little darling then? <laughs> so, Chris, you say? Huh, I do have cress seeds, of course, but I usually prefer my flora a little more exotic, like this Venus flytrap here. How about I give you seeds for both? The principles are the same. To maximize growth, you need a hothouse like this. Also, I recommend talking to your plants. The little beauties respond favorably to a good chat. Uh -huh. Last but not least, you'll need some fully organic plant food. Thanks to my secret formula, Gwendolyn here reached this height in only two years. Two years? <laughs> We need to make the crest grow much, much faster. Time to rev up the Colonel's formula with some extra extreme growth spurt ingredients. Self-raising flour, jumping beans, raspberry rocket, coffee. <coughs> ow! What's ow? This pie is too hot to eat. Hmm? And, uh, more raspberry rocket. <laughs> if this concoction isn't rocket fuel for plant growth, I don't know what is. Right, seeds. <laughs> Where are the seeds? Ah. Uh-oh, Dennis! The heat from the pie has fused the crest seeds and the Venus flytrap seeds together. Weird. Oh, well, let's plant them anyway. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I think this pie is past its best before date. <laughs> If comics have taught us anything, and comics have taught us most things, a dodgy pie is the perfect ingredient for many up super science. <laughs> to the hot Curly, we can't miss that comic convention. Is our homework done? Fingers and green thumbs crossed. We need this weekend to be detention free. Don't forget your promise to mow the lawn tomorrow, Dennis. No, oh, but tomorrow's the Beano Town Comic Convention. Which can wait until you've mown the lawn. Ah, <sighs> uh, don't worry, Dennis. Hey, Pyfees and I can help you mow it after school. Ah, is it too late to take that back? Was the grass <laughs> this tall yesterday? I don't know. I was too busy spilling our super plant food everywhere to notice. Ha-ha! <laughs> Let's <laughs> <old. laughs> I have to say, your plant's growth has surpassed all expectations. Clearly they've cheated, miss. Yesterday, they said they didn't even have seeds. I don't remember saying that. Do you? No. no. Oh, it doesn't even look like proper Chris. Those leaves have teeth. Ah, that must be the Venus flytrap genes. This is what perfect Chris looks like. Who's ever seen Chris that big? Don't you know anything, Walter? This is what big Chris looks like. When they're grown up, Chris heads have actual teeth. Oh, fascinating. 
fascinating. See, even a teacher can learn something new at school. Now, don't be jealous, Walter. I'm giving all three of these boys the top mark. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Walter. Oh, I know you haven't done this homework, Minis. And the moment I can prove it, that top mark will be mine. And you'll all be on comic convention missing detention. Walter can't prove a thing. Yes! We dodge detention the one weekend when dodging detention matters. Ah! 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 Dennis! The unusually large and bitey cress. It's got larger and bitier. Ah! Ah! There may still be a bit more dodging to do. I told you it's not Chris. You don't see Chris this big and eating things. Dennis? Uh, Walter's absolutely right. You, you, you don't see Chris this big and eating things. And that's because uh, this is how fully grown Cress carries on. Kids normally grow Cress for a week and then eat it. What most kids don't know is they have to eat it or it'll grow up and eat them. Sorry, miss. Our Cress got this big because we were so eager to do the homework. We planted it too soon. Well, that makes perfect sense. What? No, it doesn't! <coughs> As you can see, the preferred food of the fully grown Cress is pies. <laughs> It must be my pie in the plant food. We've created a Venus pie trap. Miss Creature, as fully grown cress experts, we can contain this situation, but we will need to leave school early. Fine, whatever you need. Emergency, Brenda. We need every pie you can muster. What now, Dennis? The Colonel said we should talk to our plants. So let's talk. Oi, plants, pies! <laughs> I hope you've got a plan, Dennis. We're running out of pains. What? I only had one or two. Don't worry, Curly. Genius always has a plan. They'll be happy here. Disposing of pies past the sell by day. Dad's best shop assistant ever. Nice one, Dennis. Okay, mutant crest dealt with. All we have to do now is deal with that lawn. Gang, rustle up a mowing device and meet me at my place. <laughs> Where did you get a goat? From the goat convention. There's a goat convention? Yeah, at the convention centre. Today's the last day. Tomorrow's the comic convention. Ah, which we're not going to miss. Let's get mowing. It's a good job we also have national power. Then we can mow it. All this mowing is disturbing my study. Why is it taking so long? Um, we're being thorough. <laughs> thorough? With a chore? Now, why does that strike me as suspicious? No, oh, nothing suspicious going on here, Walter. Just lawn mowing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've got my eye on you, menaces. <laughs> oh. Phew. If Walter realises the grass is growing out of control, he'll tell Creature that we didn't do the crest homework properly. Oh, but at this rate, we'll be mowing the lawn all weekend. We'll never get to the comic convention. Hmm. Pie face, where there's a convention, there's a way. So the goat convention's finished then? Uh-huh. To make way for the comic convention, which we'll be at. But how do we get rid of all these goats? One problem at a time, pie face. One problem at a time. <laughs> Ready for the ultimate water slide of doom, Nasha? Nash, Nash! Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. 
take your jumper off, Dennis. It's so hot today. <laughs> <laughs> Over. Chap at work lent me this research prototype he's testing out. Rejuvenating regeneration for the follically challenged. Hmm. Huh? <gasps> <gasps> Wowza! <laughs> Time for some hair-raising action, eh, Nasha? Nasha! <laughs> Remember, class, no feeding the animals. Is that clear, Pieface? Absolutely, miss. These babies are all mine. <laughs> What's in the bag, Dennis? <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, apes are our closest relatives in the animal kingdom. 95% of their DNA is identical to ours. Oh, <gasps> oh, <gasps> banana. banana. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing the Beano Town hairy mammoth. Mammoth? They're extinct. Duh. <laughs> oh, yeah? Bet you'll lunch that there's a mammoth here. <laughs> You're on. Me too. I'm me. <laughs> oh. I don't suppose yours has got a pie in. <laughs> Oi, what's happened to Elvis? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, school now. Nasha, <laughs> back. Let the medicine begin. Nasha, Nasha. <laughs> Funny you should ask. He went in next door's pool and came back looking like this. Ah. I don't suppose you'd know how that might have happened, Dennis. Ah. Sorry, Mum. No good apologising to me. Apologise to your dad. He went in after Nasha. Well, I think you look cool, Dad. <laughs> Good afternoon. We've had reports of a gorilla on your premises. A gorilla, Sergeant? Oh, there's no gorilla here. <laughs> Got ya! <laughs> Come on, you. Back to the zoo. But, but Sergeant, he's not dangerous. Ah, looks dangerous to me. There's only one place for a creature like that. <laughs> yeah. Dad, Walter's dad invited me for a dip in their pool, you know, because it was so hot. And Luke! Still, three bananas, though. Oh, this is bad. No, this is super bad. 
got to get Dad out. Better get mine out, too. Yeah. Mum got a call from Dad inside the gorilla enclosure. He's loving the free bananas, though. OK, we need to find an antidote fast. Nasha, you'll have to be our guinea pig. I, I mean, dog. Mm. Nash, 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 nash. That's brilliant! Seriously, though, we'd better find the antidote. Nash, nash, nash. Nash, 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 nash. Nasha, we'll think of something. Nash. <laughs> okay, well, let's see if test number 273 will do the job. <laughs> yes! Oh! Yes, yes, yes! Curly, you're a genius! Get that boy a striped jumper! What's the magic formula? One part liquid, add three parts dissolving agent, add to the hair restorer, shake repeatedly for ten minutes, then dilute with a 100% purification solution. What? Water! Pure tap water! The chlorine in the pool mixed with the hair restorer caused a chemical reaction. This created a new super formula that sped up the hairiness. <sighs> I diluted the pool water with simple tap water and ta-da! The super formula was neutralized and we get zero hairiness. Okay. I didn't understand any of that, but it sounded great. Come on, let's go give our dads a really good soaking. Oh, <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's very hot being airy, you know. Dennis, look! Is that your dad? Quick, Nasha! Yes? Don't worry, Dad. We're here to rescue you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, of course, it could just be an actual gorilla. <laughs> Oi! Over here! Did it! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dennis. Help! <laughs> Better give him a hand. <laughs> Get ready, everyone! <laughs> Whew, thank yous. Oh, I don't know how I would have gotten back into their enclosure if it wasn't for Nash, eh? Nash, Nash! You've all got free zoo passes for life! <laughs> Anyone seen my dad? Uh, was I supposed to get out? Everything's back to normal. The gorillas are back in their cages, Pie Face's dad's making banoffee pies, and dad's got his ball patch back. <laughs> um, Dennis, isn't there a ban on using water because of the heat wave? Yeah, but I'm using special water. Well 
world's largest sausage is on the move. Operation Distract Nasha is go! <coughs> Nasha's going to love this! like the world's largest sausage, demands a big distraction. <laughs> My garden! What with that reprobate Nasher at large? Don't you worry, Walter. I told Dennis that if Nasher so much as touches that giant sausage, it's the kennels for good. Oh, excellent policing. Indeed. Fun but fair. <laughs> good news! Oh, oh. <laughs> I did this to you. Um, Walter? <laughs> Sergeant Slipper, do something! Sorry, never said anything about normal-sized sausages, which are very, very tasty, I might add. Ah, thanks, Walter. I couldn't have come up with a better distraction myself. Oh, Dennis! You won't get away with that! Oh! Whoa. Oh! <laughs> Saying you won't get away with the uh, mm. <laughs> nice. huh. <laughs> Hey Butch, I just spoke to Chomp. They're sending their chop man. I can't believe it. Chomp! The coordinated headquarters for official meat products are coming to judge my little old sausage. This little old sausage will put Beano Town on the map. Huh? Ah! <laughs> Who elbows me? <gasps> Is everything okay? No. There's a massive bite! Yes, yes! Everything's fine! <laughs> oh, yes, that's... that's right! Everything is fine! I don't understand! Who could have gotten through the lasers? Wait a minute! This looks like an animal bite! Hmm... An agile animal with an insatiable appetite for sausages and the biggest jaws in Beano Town. But who? No, I've got nothing. Uh, it's Nasha, obviously. Wait a minute. I've got it. It's Nasha, of course. Ah, oh, give me strength. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get your fill last night, eh, Nasha? Huh? Yes. Hey, what are you doing? Nasha is under arrest for biting Butch's giant sausage. One bite? There's no way it was Nasha then. He would have eaten the whole thing. Good thing he didn't. That's a potentially record-breaking sausage. Nash! Don't worry, Nasha. We'll help you out in no time. Meet me at the treehouse and bring your best moustache. What bite? No way that was Nasha. There'd be nothing left. Not to mention he was with me the whole night. Which can only mean one thing. <laughs> Nasha has an evil twin, like Paul. Oh, Nasha's been set up. And we're going to find out by who. Curly, how much do you know about the coordinated headquarters for official meat products? Ah, sorry, Mr. Man. We're not open to the public yet. C-H-O-M-P, Inspector. That's quite a sausage. <laughs> Step this way, gentlemen. We have some paperwork to fill in. Ow. Oh. Psst. Take a 
Swab. <laughs> Time for Operation Bog. But I went before we left home. That's B-O-G. Bust out, Nasha. Oh, phew. <laughs> And then, of course, there was that huge brat verse from Bavaria. Oh, yes. Underpants. Scramble. Uh oh. Underpants. Oh, but I only got two pairs. Come on, Piper. It's underpants. <laughs> Okay, Nasha, this is the scent of the record breaking sausage. Find the missing piece and we find the culprit. Um, Mr. Mayor, sir, this gentleman says he's from Chomp. Hear about the record. Lucky us, eh? Two in one day. Uh-oh. Come back here, you! Uh-oh! Nasha! Unleash the please! Nice one, Nasha! Now, we flee! Hello, hello, Slipper! Yeah, uh, it's me! Nasha! Got away! Nasha! Uh, Walter! Of course it's Walter! It's always Walter! Hmm. Dennis! I thought that mutt of yours was locked up! Stop right there, Dennis! <laughs> oh, well done, Sergeant Slipper! Seize the giant sausage biter and his rascal of an owner immediately! Hang on! How does he know about the sausage being bitten? Oh. Yes, Walter. How do you know? <laughs> well, I mean, I just put two and two together. Uh, giant sausage <laughs> and Nasher on the loose. It's obvious. Run, Claudius. Huh? <laughs> hey, I just shampooed the carpet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nice try, Walter. What? It's not inconceivable that he acted alone, is it? OK, fine. I may have helped a little. Sorry, Nasha. As for you, Claudius, you're off to the kennel for a night. But... but... there is no kennel for cats in Beano Town. I know! Who <laughs> <laughs> bad curlies and did see this? <laughs> You can drop the act now. Uh, huh? Yeah, good thing they sent you out from HQ to help with the measuring. Not sure how I would have handled this on my own. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ooh, just a few millimetres off. Sorry, folks. Record remains. What? I wanted a record. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Why? Why? Hang on. I'll give you a record. Got a stopwatch. Hello? <laughs> Unbelievable! We have a new giant sausage speed eating world record! <laughs> well done, Dennis! Your dog has put Beano Town on the map! <laughs> Oh, oh, that's disgusting. Mop boy, clean up on stage.
Now that is not the pace of a postman preparing to pull. Uh, uh, I must draw your attention to Postal Delivery Service Article 49B, Subsection 12, which expressly states... <laughs> Monthly. What's Magnet Monthly? <sighs> the only periodical exclusively about the hows and whys of magnetism, obviously. It's fascinating. Right. There's even less of Efficient Pockets Weekly, Fractions Quarterly, Ant Admirer and Collectible Placemats. Wow. Walter, I... I'm horrified. You shouldn't be inside reading boring magazines. You should be getting out and doing fun stuff. Nash is doing you a favour. A favour? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's got you out of the house. You're getting fresh air, exercise, and Nash is getting exercise too. <laughs> and now his collection is just one sample short. Oh, what collection? <gasps> Within 24 hours, the world record for the largest collection of samples from post office issue underpants, held since 1908 by an unusually fast and snappy dash -un, will be claimed by one Nasha Menace! Nasha! Hmm. Well, as you've clearly no intention of curbing your pooch's postal impropriety, I'll have to take postal matters into my own hands. Eh? You're gonna be a postman? Nash, Nash. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Nasha. <laughs> Walters doesn't count. But come tomorrow's post, you'll be the new title holder. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> ah, don't want to miss the big moment, eh, Walter? Oh, absolutely not. Today is the debut of the future of post delivery. Say hello to the Postatron. Huh? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's a prototype. All the traits of a human postal worker combined with robot efficiency. I first read about it in Stamps and Envelopes News. I told the post office I knew just the place to test it out. Splendid. Porridge enthusiast. I've been looking forward to you, my friend. Post? We've not had post for months. Poor oh, Nasha. He's devastated. How can he bag the record for postal underpants samples when our robot postman doesn't wear pants? Could we put pants on it? It doesn't have legs. Could we put legs on it? Uh, oh. No! We've got to get rid of the robot postman. We've got to get a real postman back so Nasha can claim that record. <laughs> and this is how we're going to do it. Me and Nasha will drive it, and when Nasha barks into the microphone inside, it'll sound like a hundred dogs. <laughs> At the sound of a hundred Nashers, any postman would like it. And as the Postatron is programmed to behave just like a postman... You've built a robot dog? Obviously. It's the only way to scare off a robot postman. We don't want you scaring off the robot postman. I like getting post. Here's a postcard from Gran. She's stranded in the Congo and needs us to send cash. Six months ago. Oh, that's why we haven't heard from her. And the Postatron has also finally delivered all your school reports. You're grounded. You can help us sort through all this post. Here's a power bill. Final demand. Huh? <laughs> right, you're doubly grounded. You and Nasha. But first, find some candles. But, but what about Nasha's record? <laughs> Good luck, Pie Face. Thanks, Dennis. Dennis, inside now. You're grounded. And sorting post. Oh, you're our eyes, Curly. Keep us updated. <laughs> Hello? Is that the dog catcher? I need you to bring your largest net. <laughs> Damn me! 
Mini cherries. Oh, oh that tickles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're coming with me. Uh, Dennis, we have a problem. <sighs> I have to go rescue Pie Face. He's been taken by the dog catcher. <sighs> Why does that sentence not surprise me? Dennis, you're not going anywhere till you finish sorting all that post. Ah, finished! What sort of sorting is that? It's all been sorted into a needs-to-be-sorted pile. See ya! <laughs> Another wild dog! Hey, aren't you our old postman? Your new dog catcher now! I'm chasing dogs! Oh, oh, sweet revenge! Still, you must be miffed of robots doing your old job. That's the point. It's doing the job. Unlike me, it's fulfilling the postman's motto. Through rain or hail or snow, the post must get through. So, if the robot postman can't get through, they'll have to re-employ a proper postman. With pants! Yes, yes. Can I get out, please? Anyone? Surely the Postatron's prepared for rain, hail and snow, Dennis. Ah, it won't be expecting the menace variety, though. <laughs> Ready, menaces? Yes, Ready. Hail! Yeah. <laughs> <Rain>. <laughs> Let them know the post isn't getting through. <laughs> oh, right. Organise this periodical. <laughs> All this. Because Walter missed out on Magnet Monthly. There is a magazine called Magnet Monthly? I know. Free Magnet with every issue. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Magnum Monthly? Not one issue of my subscription has arrived all year. So, can you send them again? All at once? Brilliant! My name? It's Walter. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you menaces hope once again to disrupt the march of technology. No, you win, Walter. We've tried and we can't stop the Postatron. I knew you wouldn't be able to get the better of its superior robot brain. And Nasha felt so bad about ruining your magazines, so we're making up for it. A whole year's worth of Magnet Monthly, complete with free magnets, is arriving today. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? It's true. I give you a postal marvel with news of the marvel of magnetism in bulk. Bulk? <laughs> You're right, Walter. Magnetism is marvellous. <laughs> oh. Ah, I see you got your old job back. Yes. Apparently, the Postatron had a few glitches to iron out. Well, something like that. Still. At least Nash is not around today, so I can deliver the mail in peace. <laughs> He's behind me, isn't he? Yeah. Nash! <laughs> Hello, woofing dog. Congratulations. A new record. Do you have any idea what this will do for Beano Town? No. Neither do I. So, what's next for our champion, then? Uh, nice, nice, nice. Apparently, he has his eye on the record for samples from Mare's underpants. Oh! Well... <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Santa? Angel face? My office. <laughs> now! Sport is about working together, pulling as one team. Tying up Mrs. Creature is not a sport, Dennis. <laughs> Next week is the annual triathlon against Grey Towers Prep. Our school hasn't won that in 20 years. Ah, but this year we will. Because you three will represent Beano Town School in this year's competition. <laughs> what? Us? Team up? With these losers? Now, now, I want you to prove that you can pull together for the school and make me very proud. Choose a captain and get training. Team Beano Town. You three are the triathlon team. <laughs> I know, Curly, I know. But maybe with a strong captain, someone with talent, charisma, someone like me. There's only one way to settle this. A pie face off. Yeah. <laughs> Get the pie will be captain. Get ready, get set, get pie. <laughs> be prepared to follow my lead, loser. <laughs> <laughs> Operation Dash Landing! Dash! Yes! <laughs> yes, I'm the captain of Team Beano Town! Woohoo! And I'm the captain of Grey Tars. Hey, look, Jules, look, Gemma, our competition. We usually jog up and down Mike Beano's train. I don't think we need to bother. Not now we've seen you, smelly little oiks. Hey, Walter may be smelly, but he's no oik. That's right! But no, uh -huh. Oh, looks like the triathlon trophy is ours. Again. Let her lose ours. Losers! Oh, how very dare they! Smelly oiks indeed. I've never been so insulted. And I thought you were pompous. Nobody calls me a loser and gets away with it. Right! We're gonna swim harder, run faster, and ride better than ever before in the history of the triathlon. Who's with me? <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, sounds sweaty. Come on, we can't let them beat us. We're Team Beano Town. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Walter, you leave me no choice. I'm sending for special ops. <gasps> The games begin! <laughs> Just imagine you've got itching powder in your swimming trunks. <laughs> what? Oh, as if I would. Walter and Gemma, on your mark, get set. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to Gemma. First round to Grey Towers. <laughs> nice swim, Gemma. One nil to you. It's Jules, actually. 
Trial. Good luck, all. Beat that Beano Town loser. I can beat you with my eyes closed. Time for my legendary triple swing back. <laughs> 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 Triple Dennis, what happened? Uh, the twins used a magnet to mess with my bike. That's not all. Gemma didn't finish the swimming. That slimy Jules did it for her. Yes. Oh, okay, team, we've got to win the final race. Who's with me? <laughs> Game on! Don't open this till I tell you. I'm on to you, cheat. <laughs> I can't go on. Open the envelope now. Come on, Angel Face. Come on, Angel Face. Walter needs you. <laughs> Walter, try and remember that what I'm about to do is for the sake of the team. After him, Nasha! 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 Nasha, Rupert's cycling the track, not running it. But we're going to stop their cheating forever. Listen closely. <laughs> what? Go back the way I just came? <laughs> 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 Hang on, everybody. Grey Towers are cheats. Rupert was riding his bike until Nasha Nash the tires. That's a serious allegation. Do you have proof? Yes, we do. Nasha? <laughs> that's the snorkel Jules, not Gemma, used to win the swimming. And that's the <laughs> magnet they used to make my BMX crash. <laughs> do, do, do let him nash me again. <laughs> I'll tell the truth. We did cheat. <laughs> right, well, in that case, Grey Towers is disqualified. This year's triathlon winners are Team Beano Town. Hang on, if the competition's over. Oh, Jimmy 